Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. In today's video we are going to be talking about one of the most beautiful up and coming brands. But before I get into that I want to make sure you guys know what this upcoming little series is going to be. So if you guys saw my haul last Saturday, I talked about how I want to make sure that I'm buying from some small businesses, especially in 2020 as all of the commercials, all of the commercials that I've seen this year have been telling me now more than ever. And in the midst of this endeavor, I thought I would go ahead and spotlight some of the brands that are really standing out to me, the brands that I think you have got to know about because they are truly hidden gems. And a quick little commentary on supporting small business. I do absolutely think it is incredibly important to support small business. As we've all seen, it's been a difficult year for everyone and it's been hardest on small businesses. But I want to make sure you know that, you know, if you are somebody who is like me and it's been a hard year on you as well. Know that you don't necessarily need to be buying from the brands to support them. I'll make sure to have all of the Instagram accounts for any of the brands that I'm talking about in the description box below. Give them a follow, give them some likes on their photos because those actions that don't cost you even a dollar can be really, really helpful to brands in terms of picking up in the Instagram algorithm so that more people can see the brand. And by the way, if you guys do like this series, please let me know by leaving a comment below making sure that you like this video because you guys determine the upcoming videos that I do on this channel and if you love this series I will absolutely keep it going. Now for today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about the brand Flay Soleil which I did mention in a past what's new in skincare video. Oh my goodness, this is such a gorgeous little brand. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little bit of backstory on the brand. So first off, their name, Flay Soleil, means sunflower, and it is two sisters running the brand. One is a board-certified doctor, and the other is currently in medical school, which we absolutely love to see. I'll put all of their stickers up on the screen so you can see. Made in the USA, handcrafted, cruelty-free, sister-owned and operated, black-owned business, organic and wild-crafted ingredients. And if you're interested in reading more about their bio, I will of course have the website linked in the description box below. Now a couple more notes from my own personal perspective here. I would also add that this is a very clean brand. This is an all-natural brand, no sulfates, no parabens, no what have you, but they're also not over the top with the uh, toxins are bad type of marketing. Does make sense given their medical background, but more than anything else and what I really want to draw your attention to today, look at how beautiful their products are. I feel like there's a really hefty association with beautiful packaging and appearance with, uh, you know, luxury brands and very, very pricey brands. And yet this right here is under $60 for two ounces of oil. So it is an affordable but stunning brand that puts a lot of beautiful detail into their packaging. It's a very similar experience to the one time that I placed an order with Dior. It came in its own little Dior box. You get the same experience with this brand. So let's go ahead and chat about the products. They were kind enough to send me their entire Complete Care Oils line, which I am so filled with gratitude for. So I will be reviewing that for you today. I also just got their new toners, so that'll be a little bit more of a first impression. And I also know if you are watching this today, they have a big sale going on on their website. I don't know all of the details, but I will put them in the description box below. So I'm going to start off by talking about the Complete Care Oils, the Bale Bocals. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And before I take you guys through all of the options, I did want to tell you a little bit more about how you can use these. So first of all, obviously they can be used as body oils, but something that's really worth noting with their body oils is that a little goes a long way. You know, something I was noticing is I was looking at the ingredients list on these and they don't have the filler ingredients that almost every other body oil on the market has. And I think that has a lot to do with why there is so much more hydration coming from every drop of these. So they say you can massage three to five drops into clean skin and I do, I do agree. I will give you a tip though if you are having issues with getting your oil or your moisturizer to spread on your skin, use it directly when you get out of the shower. And if you are using an oil, not after you get out of the shower, spray yourself down with 
any kind of toner, even just a water bottle full of water, spray yourself down with that. It will make the product spread better. You absolutely can use these on your face. One of their oils is completely free of any kind of fragrance. The rest do have some scent to them, but it is of essential oil origin. And for that, they say you can use one to two drops. For hair, they say you can apply four to five drops to your scalp as a daily moisturizer. You can also add five to six drops throughout your hair as a bit of a treatment, which will also give your hair some of the beautiful scent that these have. You can use them as a hot oil treatment. I am going to say on the topic of using oils in your hair, if you happen to have my fine, thin hair type, which you're not presently looking at because this is a wig, you guys, there is a reason I wear wigs. It is called I don't particularly love my hair. And also, I think we should normalize wig wearing for people who don't love their hair. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? But if you do have that hair type, that might be a little bit too much oil for you. I tend to be able to use one, one single drop of oil at the ends of my hair. But trust me, I know that my hair type is not the most common hair type, much like my acne and dry skin type, not the most common. You can also apply a single drop to your cuticles and you can also use these for aromatherapy. I was truly a skeptic of that until I realized just how potent these are. One, one smell of this and you too, you too will be a convert. I have one more really interesting comment to add in terms of using these. So I was reading this blog, I think by a chemist, I'll make sure I have it linked in the description box below. And he was talking about the importance of using an oil or moisturizer if you do wear perfume, because it turns out that the fragrance molecules inside of your perfumes actually need moisture in order to adhere to your skin. If you don't have that, that's how you can end up experiencing those uh, evaporating fragrances through the day if you've ever experienced that. So that's a whole new aspect that I would personally add. I've just been having so much fun with in particular the scented varieties and playing around with fragrance layering you know which perfumes in my collection add to these scents and what new scents can I create but let's go ahead and go through each one of these individually I actually do want to start with the fragrance free one just because I know a lot of you do have sensitive skin types so this one is called the delicate skin variety and while it doesn't have a strong fragrance, you do smell the sweet almond oil in here. So the ingredients highlights for this one are the jojoba oil, which is a fantastic oil to use all over your body as it is similar to the oils that you naturally produce. In addition to that, you certainly, you certainly can see the 24 karat gold leaf in here. Next up is Beautiful Vegan Garden. This one is the vegan option from the brand. This one they are highlighting the Kenyan avocado oil, which is incredible to see so high in the formula. That's a beautiful oil for the skin, very rich in antioxidants and oleic acid. Also juniper berry, which does have antibacterial and antifungal properties. And then Queen Anne's lace flowers, which are certainly visible in this beautiful oil. And those flowers are rich in vitamin A. The scent on this one is very herbal, almost earthy on this one. It actually has dark patchouli oil as well as ylang ylang which is interesting because I'm often picky with Ylang Ylang and don't like it in products, but it actually smells, it smells very whole in this product, if that makes any sense at all. This one is the Spicy Almond Oil. I feel like I'm so partial to this one because there's just something about the smell of almond that I love. You know how they say scent connects to memories in your past? This one just reminds me of holiday baking. The ingredients highlights on this one are sunflower oil, ginger oil, which does have anti-inflammatory benefits, as well as star anise, which you are seeing in the product. I also really love this one right here, the Supreme Citrus, because I have a lot of citrus scents in my perfume collection. So when I was talking about layering, this is the one that I've been using for that purpose. So they say about this one, this contains apricot kernel oil, 
Unsurprisingly, tangerine, which is naturally rich in vitamin C, and then yellow sweet clover. This one has an interesting ingredients list. It also does contain lemongrass, which you will certainly smell sweet orange oil as well. Magnificent Purple has these really pretty purple little leaves inside of it. So with this one, they are highlighting virgin plum oil, which does indeed have omega fatty acids, sandalwood, purple larkspur, and then also chamomile and lavender. That is quite an interesting blend in this one. This one is extremely unique. It doesn't smell like anything I've ever smelled before, so I have to admit I was skeptical on this one at first, but it has been growing on me. And then finally, the All in Rose. I do have to admit, I think this one has the most beautiful appearance to it because of the beautiful little rose buds in it. However, I'm not the biggest fan of rose, and this is a very rose scent. Although I have to admit, I haven't loved every rose perfume that I've tried, but this one, it, it does smell different. It smells somehow more like roses than rose perfumes. The ingredient highlights, we have chia seed, which is actually one of my favorite oils. Chia is incredibly underrated, fantastic oil for dry skin, as well as, of course, rose oil. And then, as mentioned, the rose petals. I'm digging deeper in this ingredients list right now, kind of trying to figure out what it is that I smell in here. Indian dark patchouli. That could actually be contributing. Also cedarwood. Very interesting smell. It is such a shame that we don't have smell-o-vision yet. Is it? Is it a shame? Or would you never watch any crowd gatherings? ever again. So that is the entire collection of oils, and as you can guess, I am very, very pleased with all of them. I can't wait to see how long they last, too, because I have a suspicion it will be a very long time. And one more thing I should have mentioned, when you purchase these, they do include a dropper, so it is easy, very easy, to get out the amount that you are trying to work with. Don't forget what I said about a little goes a long way. It goes a very long way with this brand. I also am so incredibly excited to introduce you to their toners. Now these are brand new and release the same day as this video, but I will tell you what I know about them. So far I just can't give a, a long-term review at this point. But let's start with this one. This is the Rose Water Moisturizing Elixir that they say is great for both skin as well as hair. And you know how earlier in this video I said the oils are too much on my fine hair? I can do Oh, I can do leave-in conditioner, so it is perfect for that. And talk about fancy, have you ever in your life seen a toner in this type of bottle? This one right here is very appropriately named the Bottle Sunshine Toner. Oh my goodness, it is so, so pretty. And this one is made with aspen bark as well as willow bark, which I talk about a lot on this channel. That's going to give you some great anti-inflammatory properties. And with both of those toners, they say they introduce hydration and even out the complexion and contribute to overall shine. I am absolutely, absolutely a fan of more hydrating toners as opposed to the more stripping ones. And then as far as how to use these, you use these on fresh, clean skin and then follow it with a serum, which they do carry serums. And then you can finish your skincare routine with one of the complete oils. I know I just read on clean skin, but I can't resist it. I cannot. That is all I have for today's video. Please do make sure that you check out this brand. I will have a link in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you all next time.